So I saw a very cool and very cheap modification for the E46 in a little shady street drifting video. They showed an E46 engine that had its airbox completely wrapped with, with aluminum foil, with heat wrap. And my first thought was, that kind of looks very cool. I want to do that from a right perspective. But then I started thinking about it and I did a tiny bit of research and well, there might be some truth to it. In today's video, we're going to see if wrapping this with this will have any kind of positive effect on the intake air temperature because when you think about it, it makes sense we are reflecting heat away from the air box so we're getting essentially hopefully colder air but this is all in theory plus this is does smell a lot like a ricey fox uh, motorsport so i have my doubts but i'm gonna do it because i thought it looked it looked cool i was like yeah i vibe with that we're going to do it legit though. Okay, input is set up. This is what we're looking for, the air intake temperature. Currently 26 degrees of air intake temperature. This is the control part of the test. We're going to see what AITs we get from the stock air box. Right, so car is up to temperature. You can see as well here, 91 degrees coolant temp. Outside, it's currently 24 and current base air intake 37.5 i'm going to do a quick racy run on this road and i'm going to be checking on the air intake temperature through the through the way and uh, hopefully we can get a nice base even to the touch it's not particularly warm here but on the side, man, it is definitely quite warm. And the intake pipe also. Intake. There we go. Honestly, I like how it looks. Might be ricey, but I have. I am Need for Speed Underground, the Fast and Furious one in my heart, so. There's always a bit of rice. I didn't wrap the map, which is, uh, I think, a mistake, but I do have some wrap on the intake pipe. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of vibey. Let's see if there's any change. <laughs> I love how this looks. Everything seems to be in order, I think. Let's uh, do the test run. Right, well, this is going to be the test to see if there's any kind of change. Uh, it is half a degree colder, but it's also less sunny-ish, which I think will have some kind of effect. So uh, time for uh, a nice little spirited run. And current AIT is at 37.5. There we go, that's the spirited run done and I will now do the analysis because I need to do analysis of what, you know, what all, if there is any kind of change and uh, I'll be right back. This is all of the data that was gathered. You can see the before mod temperatures. We have, we have 56 temperature changes and for the after mod we have 57. I'm pretty sure the car checks the intake air temperatures at a set interval. So this is a give or take accurate one to one temperature splits. This is the chart. The chart goes from 28 to 40 degrees. And as you can see, the blue line is the before mod, higher degrees throughout, and the orange line, the after modification, significantly lower, especially 
at the midpoint. We can see that the data is quite similar with all these spikes and dips almost matching, except over here, we have an obvious temperature deficit with the modification, with the averages being 34.72 degrees average before the mod and then 33.13. So nearly two Celsius difference. That is not a lot, but it's also not a small amount. We have the lowest temperature difference, a 31.5 for the before mod over here, and a 30 for the after right here at the end the highest 38 i'm not looking at the right at the beginning because this is where the car was mostly idling i'm looking at the third tick where i would already be wide open throttle we have 38 to 36 significant difference as you can see right from the beginning there is a massive massive dip while this doesn't dip as quick another thing of note is how long we spent under 32 degrees Quite a few ticks spent under 32 degrees, while we only have two for the before. So all in all, the conclusion is, in my opinion, a positive one. Although the difference is small, there is a difference. Let's do one last not so scientific test. See if there's any difference to the top. Good thing I wrapped the elbow, by the way. It definitely gets heat up. It definitely gets a lot of heat. It's quite cold, actually. The intake pipe is quite cold. I think this might be a interesting mod. We'll go and see if it actually if the data suggests any kind of actual difference. But I like how it looks.